Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to your monthly reading, your romance or love reading. I hope you're well and I hope you're safe and keeping busy and I hope you enjoy the videos of course. Just to, I hope you do have some time left <laughs> to watch the videos and um, uh, I'm using the Romance Oracle Angel deck and I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot because I love that deck, it's amazing. And the answer of the angels. And if you would like an extended reading, then please have a look underneath the video for more information. And if you like to make a donation before we go live and you can't make do a super chat or a super sticker, then please make a donation before I go live and I'll um, I'll answer your question with love. Some countries can't do it with uh, from uh, within the super uh, in the chat in the live chat, as I go live every Monday night and Wednesday and Friday. I give also free cards out, and uh, I am there also to answer your questions, and I'll answer them with three cards and an oracle card. Um, but if you need an extensive uh, reading, then please contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And you can also click on the white dot here in the uh, corner uh, with the eye and it will take you to my website. And that's where you can see the updates and things like that and the readings on offer. And I would like to thank everybody that is um, keeping the economy going. Um, although there might, it is delays, I'm so th grateful to the dustbin men, uh, the teenagers that are filling shelves in the supermarket so we can do our shopping in safety, and the postman, of course, or postwoman, and not only the nurses, but these are the um, the people to sustain our, us in safety and in food and taking care of us in special ways. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you would like to become a cyber angel, then join us in the live chat. And then you'll be initiated as a cyber angel and you can join the cyber family. And we own, we also support each other. It's a beautiful cyber family. The people have respect for each other and support each other. It's awesome. It's not just reading cards or giving free cards away, it's also talking with each other. Sometimes there are discussions going for, with people talking about India and another, another person that's been there from America and it's really, really great fun. And thank you very much to my Cyber Angels for returning and being a true supporter. Um, without you it wouldn't be the channel it is and I'm so grateful for all my cyber angels thank you for sharing and liking as well and if you haven't subscribed yet new uh, new viewers then please do and I'll be happy to welcome you into the fold and if just subscribe and hit the bell on all because now in this new system we have a choice we can choose for none private or all but if you put it on none and private then you won't get notified I don't know why there are still some hitches with this new system and everybody all the creators are complaining about it never mind we have to bear and grin it until it's up and running it's also because YouTube hasn't isn't in the office people are working from home and I'm glad we are still up in the air thank you YouTube and your first card, Leo. Uh, this is your May read, reading, Leo. And let's get started. You're free, free yourself. Okay. It is time to take back control of your life. And this card always reminds me of a merry-go-round horse and the circle. I'm going round and round in circles. Um, it's a dead end, really. So. Take back control. Don't keep going on round and round in circles, literally or figuratively, in your mind, of course. You have the Queen of Pentacles. What do you want to get pregnant? 
well, she stands for fertility. So um, she's the one that's got green fingers. She loves animals. She loves children. She nurtures and makes it grow and blossom so that you can pluck the harvest. The Queen of Pentacles is also Virgo, but don't exclude um, uh, Taurus or um, Capricorn, um, because the big arcana and the major p person cards do represent um, zodiac um, uh, signs. So the King of Pentacles is Taurus, and the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo, and uh, the Page of Pentacles is Capricorn but don't exclude the others okay so you might be hooked up with a Virgo um, um, or and you might or you, Leo you might be hooked up with a Virgo or might be interested in a Virgo or a Virgo could give you uh, help in assisting like a mother figure because she is mother earth and she nurtures and loves and takes care so you might be getting um, some support from a Virgo this doesn't have to be the Queen it's the status of the Queen but it could also be a King okay um, and they will give you wise advice with regards to getting your self-control back okay it's no use holding on to things that are of no use anymore and that doesn't do don't help you to uh, grow in your relationship or to make the relationship grow okay it should be equilibrium and quality not quantity let your friends help you wow did I say there could be help from a Virgo there you go ask for and accept support from others you've got the four of swords so now it is also time um, to take time out and meditate or contemplate and evaluate that is what the four of swords means although we are in lockdown then take time out go to another room go outside for a walk sit in the Sun if it's sunshine or um, go and sit somewhere that you can just think by yourself once you've taken back your control it is also very admiring because a control doesn't mean to say that you are controlling the situation or the relationship you are uh, controlling yourself your emotions um, you're not uh, this uh, the servant uh, you have taken back control to become um, the queen the queen of the house and you but you don't have to take care of everything okay uh, you have to share it but you can take leadership in suggesting um, how to do things and it is also a, a form of getting respect back because once you take control and they can see that you're strong and you're in your strength and you're the mother figure of the house or the queen of the house uh, it can be very enticing for some people and it is very appealing so do that give your relationship a chance work on your partnership if you do that and you get the respect and love that you deserve uh, then you also feel good and sexy look at this beautiful lady you there will be celebrations Doo -doo 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 -doo. so watch out if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions but there could be celebrations okay pay attention to the red flags pay attention to the red flags in the fourth week but remember I haven't been mentioning weeks but this is week one two three and four but the energy could be throughout the month because time is man-made the signs are cautioning you cautioning you to take it easy and to take back control do it steadily and slowly don't just flip overnight Rome wasn't built in one night okay so do it gently do it gracefully like the Queen of Pentacles slow but steady 
Okay, that could be a new beginning or the next level as you've got the Wheel of Destiny. You hold the power to take back control, to control your destiny, your path. If you do it correctly and you do it slowly and steadily and sturdy, then you can make it grow and blossom. Uh, we all have our ups and downs, like the clock goes up and down. That is life's circle. This is also the karma card. If you've done good or bad, then you'll get it back threefold. Also, if they've done good or they've done bad, they'll get their karma threefold back. You might even be going on a trip or moving home. You might take the relationship up to the next level, Leo. Ooh, that's nice. Like I said, if there's no children, there might be celebrations. You might hear of a pregnancy because the Queen of Pentacles is here, Mother Earth. Or you might have a fiery night and there could be new beginnings like a birth or a marriage or living together. But watch out for the red flags. The red flags don't have to be negative. They can be warning um, that your relationship is going the good way, is changing, going up instead of going down. If you're taking back, if you are if you feel that the relationship is in 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 a valley and not in the mountains like the peaks and lows then uh, you've done it the right way you've contemplated you've evaluated and you're having the the, the situation uh, in control and there will be celebrations will you get uh, um, will you get married yes Will the uh, relationship go up a next level? Yes. It's not the definite yes, because it hasn't got the exclamation mark, but it is definitely a yes. You've got the Nine of Swords. You might be worrying at night and having sleepless nights. Okay. Now, in this deck, she's holding her hands in front of her eyes. But usually you see with the Nine of Swords, you also see a, a, a hawk or a, um, an eagle or an owl. So get a different perspective. She's not seeing anything, right? She can't see because she's holding her hands in front of her eyes, protecting the... the this, this is really effective, uh, fi uh, not literally that the swords are coming down, that's figuratively uh, a symbol that you have sleepless nights. So you might, uh, it's a lot like the eight of swords and the two of swords. With these hands in front of her eyes, she's not willing to see what is playing at hand or what the issue is. But there is an ending to difficulties, I think, if you take action and you do it steadily and slowly and you take advice from a beautiful person, a best friend or a mother figure and there is a new beginning because where there is an end there is a new beginning like I said the new beginning could be a pregnancy, could be celebrations that you're getting married or engaged the, um, your relationship is going up the next level but you have to work at it it won't happen by itself Leo well, that was it for May, and I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, remember this is a general reading. Have a look at the rising sign or your moon sign. If you don't know, then let me know, and I'll let you know where you can find it and how you can do it. Okay, and uh, stay safe and stay well, and I hope to see you in the live sessions. So... Take care and be blessed and together we stand strong. Please share and like the video and until next time, ciao ciao.